the monastery there behind me and the gates and the road all looking quite pretty at this time of night and the reason there's policemen all around is they use this corner as a little base they're not for here for any particular reason they have uh, their little refreshment breaks there and meetings it's also over there on the corner is Freedom Park which is a place designated for demonstrations, meetings and this kind of thing so keep some handy for that this little corner of Gandhi Nagar this district is uh, when there's no demonstrations going on a little quieter than other parts of Bangalore but as we go around the corner shortly you'll see things liven up I've walked quite a way and you can still see the monastery walls with the um, freezes a couple of hundred yards from the gate so it's quite a large area it occupies in this corner still a lot of light lighting decorations around these places um, I think left over from Diwali but uh, it's all like they're getting ready for Christmas back in my country which of course they're not and like we've just had fireworks back in the UK November the 5th and here there's been fireworks for about a month with Diwali and then where I've been staying the Tulsi festival they love bangers and fireworks here so a typical chai shop selling pan and all sorts of sweets and this is my little chai shop I go to sometimes when I have someone with me to buy me a Mountain Dew or something of this nature and I'm showing you this little part of town because I don't normally I've got a little microphone thing I'm trying out um, which is making it slightly easier to make the film and speak that's if it's working of course some street food goings on um, we'll see how it works out it came a while ago but I haven't had the inclination to try it out until now it will enable me hopefully to um, give you some guided meditations online or on YouTube because without the little mic they're difficult to do because of sitting a little away from the phone and not shouting whilst you're meditating it's not possible to be heard so this way we'll see but this beautiful little temple here the priest is there so I have to say this beautiful little temple and it is extremely interesting the Ganesh elephant in there is uh, familiar in Buddhism these footprints this is a Tulsi tree from the Tulsi festival recently and these gods in here with the priest sorting out his regalia cloths, clothes, robes <laughs> I don't know exactly what goes on in those places clearly my ignorance a lot of praying and worshipping and I've just made a video about praying and worshipping I'm doing my usual walking down the middle of the road thing because frankly I think it's the only way to get around this town or any town in India the pavements while wow. you need to have eyes in the bottom of your feet as well as the back of your head and the ends of your fingers and the sides of your ears eyes everywhere 
but down the middle of the road you can face your obstacles they're oncoming and this is the Dharma this is how we should face the vicissitudes of life head on if we distract ourselves they only nag and get worse in the back of our minds so our practice of meditation when the hindrances arise and problems occur holding us up in our meditation holding us up in our daily activities we can face them head on see them for what they really are which is of course unsatisfactory and a little bit of suffering or a lot maybe sometimes but impermanent like good things come to an end so do difficult things if we understand that nothing is ever so much of a problem so there's my little Dharma for you on my journey to the bus station <laughs> and I wonder if the microphone even picked it up we'll see if not it doesn't matter it's only an experiment I would say this is probably the quietest evening I've walked through Bangalore at this time for this bus normally it's on a Sunday but of course as the 15 day moon cycle is moving on slightly ahead of the um, Gregorian calendar that we use months um, based on the Sun um, the lunar calendar means my days are pushing forward so rather than this repositor falling on the weekend Friday Saturday Sundays the last few now we're into Tuesday um, so much quieter and also of course the most recent festivals have just come to an end which makes everybody probably have an arrest after that and I think well if it's a Tuesday night I mean I don't know quite how it works here but it's not really a great night for people to be out and about so much but look the market's thriving you can hardly say it's quiet and look the street food's all going on looking wonderful yes just man smiling namaste yeah banana leaf traditional plates is very good very good very good very good lime and lemon soda sorry I think I was looking at where I was going you may have missed some bits this is a a shopping mall oh no it's not it's a bank <laughs> well it's a, a bank it has shops in it makes sense I suppose get your money out and spend it before you even leave the building this is our nature this is how desire fuels our suffering the chase the hunt the purchase not the kill the purchase then it's downhill from there sounds pessimistic doesn't it but it's realistic yes you there is more um, excitement and pleasure in just punching in those numbers or paying for your transaction of this thing you've been dearly wanting and hoping for once that part of the transaction is over it is downhill from there you've got what you wanted now you're thinking about the next the next thing or the next upgrade or you're starting to worry about the thing you bought was it the right one how long will it last could I have done a better purchase or will it get damaged will it break suffering through not understanding impermanence and each that everything is impermanent this is that busier part of the market I'm not sure of the significance of these uh, yellow and red flags but as I don't normally film all this film sounds like something quite clever point my phone at these things like a true tourist that I am <laughs> um, 
no one bats an eyelid round here when you're pointing your phone. Because if you're not pointing one at them, they're for sure are pointing one at you. Oy, 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 oy. These noises are quite similar to the calls for getting on the bus and street food, clothing. It's almost a kind of chanting. Yeah, you may be familiar with this now. I think I've pointed my phone at this part many a time. And you see, much quieter than usual. See, I'm on the pavement now. It's not so much fun. I thought I'd seen a gap to squeeze through. <clears throat> it really wasn't a gap. So, back in the road. Avoid the oncoming cart. Heading to Majestic. This is the big bus stand, bus station for Bangalore. And as bus stations go, it's a pretty large one. I have to try and cross now, heading on, head on into this oncoming traffic. Oh, there we go. They whiz up from all directions. And, uh, well, what can I say? No pelican crossings around here. It's a case of best foot forward and uh, hope for the best. Look at that, a big gap appeared. You see, you've got to kind of wiggly squeeze through. <laughs> there we go. And I think I'm going to bus stand terminal one because terminal one is where I get my bus to the coast not terminal three where I used to go to Tumkur terminal one for my 12 hour bus journey I'm probably harping on about that 12 hours now I apologize it's a normal thing around here not for me to be harping on about it, but long bus journeys, because it's a big country. The state of Karnataka is as big as the UK, and it's about the same population, geographically the same size, and in terms of numbers of people, the same. And that's just one state of, I think, what, 26 in, in India as a whole. Now I'm having to just uh, think a little left or right this side the left hand side so this is usually my bus around here but it's early yet so I should go and find somewhere to sit and check out how this microphone works if I can hear it Namabuddha